I believe it has been my goal, my endeavor, my mission statement to convince others that they are divine, that within them is divinity, a spark, a fractal of the source of all creation, that we are the creator having a human experience. That has been, I think, the one overriding message that I was trying to con convey in many different ways, coming at it from many different angles, but a message expressing that we, the possibility of becoming more than we are in the moment or that we have been, the possibility of becoming more, that ye are gods in potentia, that we are gods waiting to just wake up and remember that. This is not meant to You sound arrogant or anything of that nature. It is just that we have been asleep to that fact. People have capitalized on that fact for aeons with organized religion to keep us from that knowledge. And what I mean very specifically that we, there's a path that we can take of knowledge, of self empowerment, where we understand that our highest heritage, that we are not these physical bodies, that there is a death transcending non-molecular energy body, a self-luminous vehicle that is our avatar of light and that is who we truly are. It is our highest heritage to know this. It has been kept from us. It has been hidden from us. And if anything, these days, the, those scientists, the quantum physicists, those scientists on the very cutting edge of knowledge and research and understanding, they know this, that the human body is electrical, that we are energy. Our thoughts are energy. Our thoughts are electricity. The human body is electrical. In fact, all life, all life is electrical and everything is alive. The entire universe operates off of electromagnetism. And that's the place where science now says that consciousness resides in the electromagnetic spectrum. We are the creator having a human experience. When we clear all the debris away, when we open up the conduit, when we achieve calmness within we begin to see the bigger picture that we are fragments of soul our soul is a fragment of the of the over soul perhaps there is only one only ever one soul one huge electromagnetic consciousness that little bits of it little circuit little path circuit paths of it are put into one genetic vehicle and we're set off to go and experience. And then as we collect our experiences, it's all absorbs back into the, to the great ocean of consciousness, the great electromagnetic awareness of the divine grid programmer. One thing, one soul, one awareness, one suchness whatsoever. And our impression of being an individual soul who is having a separate experience is like the impression of a wave arising from the ocean and that the ocean has of itself as a wave but we are merely a wave in this great ocean and when you shift your perspective when you kind of let the 3d physical body all that stuff when you kind of shift your perspective away from that and towards your energy body your light body to the ocean rather than the wave because the ocean endlessly generates infinite numbers of waves and each one believes for that brief duration of its appearance that itself 
and all the other waves are not connected. Each wave pretends that it is not the ocean making waves. The waves even altogether forget they are also directly the ocean, each believing they inhabit an endless plane of separate waves. But when the wave crest falls into its trowel, it becomes the ocean again. The in and out breathing. Hold your breath for 10 seconds. I guarantee you, you'll forget all your problems. You'll forget really quick and you'll remember very quickly what you are. You're the breath of consciousness. There is one ocean of consciousness and it generates infinite numbers of points of attention, of little circuits on the path of the great circuit board. You are a point of attention in the ocean of consciousness. So am I. But really, behind our mask of separate individual identities and experiences, we are really one thing experiencing ourselves under the temporary arrangement of separateness. Waves are the ocean's way of playing at not being the ocean for a while. Beings are God's ways of playing and not at not being God. Ultimately, there are really no souls as such, if by soul you mean a forever separate permanent self. In other words, I am you, you are me, and we are everywhere. And that is the truth. Please hit the subscribe button if you agree. Give this video a thumbs up. And stay tuned for the glorious new epoch of the golden age of the new earth. Namaste. Namaskaram.